Hello everybody, um, th this is the third part of the Coherent UI Unreal Engine integration tutorial and in this part I will show you how to bind JavaScript events to your game. Uh, for this tutorial I have copied some of the files from Coherent UI test FPS game. Um, you can see these four and this is the folder where I copied them from. Uh, you you need them later in the tutorial. Also there is uh, this file that you should also copy for your project right here. So let's get started. After you copy these files you should open the CoUI plane blueprint over here and go to components, select the coherent UI component and then edit the others. Um, in our case it will be screen and button HTML. It should uh, correspond to your HTML page that you would like to open. So now the next uh, thing that we will do it would uh, show you how to unlock your mouse so you will be able to click it. So uh, open the level blueprint you can see this is the the hood that we used to set up from the first part of this tutorial. Now we will just add on top of it. So uh, first we will spawn a coherent UI input actor that will uh, transfer the input from the keyboard and the mouse to the Coherent UI views. And here you should select Coherent UI input actor. Uh, we, we should specify a transform for it. It uh, doesn't really matter what the transform is, it is invisible actor. So there is no big deal. I'll just use this random location. You could choose anything you like for it. And now I'll make uh, a variable holding that instance of the current UI input actor. so I could set it. Now when we spawn the input actor we would like to set it its corresponding variable so we could use it later on. And the next thing we want to do is to initialize the input actor. Uh, there are a few options that you could use if you really need to. The defaults will be always, almost always working for you. Now, uh, the next thing that we'll do is to spawn um, a view that will show our uh, button page. In this tutorial I will show you how to have a view that uh, shows a button and when you click it 
um, you will have some logic that is bound to the, that button click. So now I've spawned the view. It's the it's uh, just the same way as we spawned the coherent UI actor. It's spawn actor from class, and then we will spawn that one coherent UI plane. UI plane, sorry. Um, I'll use just the same transform that I used for the input actor. Uh, it's just the location that is important. I made sure that this is a visible location when you when the player spawns. And now we should have a plane that spawns when we hit play. Okay, and we can see that it's a bit too small, so I will increase its scale now. I will set it to 3. And let's see how it is now. Alright, that's a bit better. Now, the next thing we want to do is uh, to enable mouse clicks and uh, mouse input to the UI view. The next thing that we have to do is to focus the coherent UI input widget that this coherent UI input actor has spawned. This, was gi this will give us access to the mouse and it will also send clicks to the UI views. Um, I want to this to happen on a mouse or a button press. Um, I will just use one pressed and call input and then toggle coherent UI input focus. This should be enough to focus the widget and to show the mouse as well. Let's see. So now when I press 1 the mouse shows up and I'm able to click the button from the web page. The next thing that I will do is that I will bind some game logic in order to make that button more useful. Uh, I will use a cube that I will spawn and I will move it around with the click of a button. I'll make this a, a section with create common from selection and I'll call this setup input. All right. And now I would like to spawn another director. It will be just a cube. Uh, its blueprint is this one. I'll use uh, 
another transform for it to be transform make and I'll use the following coordinates again these uh, coordinates are any random coordinates I just wanted them to be visible when I start the game so it will be easier for testing I will have another variable called uh, cube which will hold the instance of this pound cube and the blueprint is called as I told you coherent static actor coherent here it is and the variable should hold the same type static actor coherent all right so we want to set the cube just name it cube all right let's see if we have a cube being spawned for us now okay here it is that's the one now we want to bind some game logic to it um, so I'll just get the coherent UI component from the uh, button from the UI view with the button um, I'll get it from here let's get coherent UI1 that's the name of the component actually and I'll use uh, assign ready for bindings. Uh, this is this will call this this event will be called when the view is ready for bindings, and only then we can use uh, any further logic because it, only then it will be executed. Uh, I want to assign JavaScript event. This will give me this event, and I'll connect them like this. Now, uh, this will be called every time there is a JavaScript event being uh, passed to coherent UI with the engine call or engine trigger methods in uh, your JavaScript um, we need to get the payload and get the event name and uh, when you have many events you should switch on string and here you can choose what will happen when a specific event is fired um, I will just remove the devout value and at uh, activate this is the name of the event that will be called when the button is clicked connect these and now I will use uh, I'll make another variable that will hold uh, two states for the cube so it can be moved uh, forwards and backwards uh, I'll call it cube moved it will be just a simple bow and now I'll set it to the opposite set cube moved and I'll just not it 
So every time the activate event is fired, the the cube mu cube moved uh, variable will be set to the opposite of it. So if it's true, it will be set to false, or vice versa. Now I will make a branch that will move the cube based on this variable. Um, I'll get the cube bar from here. Get uh, its uh, static mesh component. This is the one that I need, and then I'll use it to call move component to. It's a method that can be used to move the whole cube around. Now I will need uh, two of these. One if the cube was moved to set it to one location, and one if the cube was not moved to set it to another location. It might sound a bit of confusing, but you see that it's it's not that confusing actually. And I'll just connect them like this. Um, I'll set these positions. You can experiment with your own. It's just. It doesn't really matter what they will be, as, w as long as you you can see the cube. Okay, and uh, there is a box that is not connected. Okay, now that should be it. Let's see if it will work. Okay, we have our cube, and that is a bit too fast. Anyway, let's see what will happen. So, this is the button, and this is how its logic is bound with blueprints to the actual game objects. You can change the speed of it with uh, this property over time. For example, if you, if I set it uh, to 5, it will take 5 seconds to reach this location. Let's see if it changed enough. Alright, now you can see it's a lot slower. and it just interpolates its position over the time. This was the last part of the coherent UI Unreal Engine 4 integration. Stay tuned for more tutorials from us.